in the great state of Ohio, you have lost more than 300,000 manufacturing jobs between 1994 and 2015. 31 percent of all manufacturing jobs in Ohio, but it's not just Ohio. In my state, all over this country, people saw their factories and decent paying jobs shut down, plants moved to Mexico, China, people hired at desperately low wages, and those products brought back to America. I will tell you a brief story. In the early 1990s, I went to the Maquiladora area in Mexico, and I'll never forget what I saw. What I saw there were all of these brand new state-of-the-art factories, American factories, some European factories, and I said, you know, I want to talk to the workers, I want to visit the homes of the workers who work in those factories. The only problem was I could not visit the homes of the workers who worked in those factories because they did not have homes. They lived in cardboard shacks, then making 25 cents an hour. I remember it like it was yesterday. Filthy water, they had one light bulb strung up, connected to some electric outlet someplace. Those were the people who were working in those factories. They were exploited people. Millions of people in Mexico had to leave their farms, come into the big cities, become unemployed. We are going together to end these disastrous trade agreements, which have cost this country millions of decent paying jobs. We are going to create trade agreements that work for workers, not just the CEOs of large corporations. <laughs>